What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. How y'all doing out here on this blue Monday? Well at least we we both got it, you know, beat so before we know it, Friday will be here again and I'll be happy again because <laughs> the work week will be done. But uh this picture that y'all see right here is a story that comes out of New Jersey. Um something tells me it's gonna be a bad summer for pale skin people with animals because uh it's like i did a story about um what was it or just yesterday about the black jaguars matter of fact who attacked a one attacked a woman and rightfully so you know what i mean she had no business going on in, in his enclosure about two weeks ago i did another story about a woman who owned uh, like two, I think they were mastiffs, yeah, bull mastiffs of some sort, and uh, whatever it was, you know, she liked it to wrestle with them and play around with them, that you know, I don't play with dogs like that, you know, and everything, and the dogs turned on her and ate her up, you see what I'm saying, um, and then there was a, a zookeeper, an Asian zookeeper, and um, She's, you know, she was feeding an alligator and it jumped out of the water, snatched her in, and they didn't find her until the next day flo floating in that canal, wherever, you know, they kept the alligator and her mutilated, you know, chewed on corpse and everything. Now, <clears throat> this story right here is about a woman that actually owned, I guess, this bull that you see on this picture. You understand? And uh, sounds like to me. She wanted the bull to do something he didn't want to do. And he jumped on her and started tearing her ass up. Basically, that's what happened, you know. Let's get into the story. I don't want to give too much of it away. Let's get into the story. A woman in New Jersey suffered multiple injuries on Friday after being attacked by her own bull. According to the Sparta Township Police Dispatches, dispatchers were made aware of an aggressive animal that were roaming the roadway at around 3 p.m. Reports said it was a cow that was approaching vehicles in the area. But once officers Arlene Lippincott, yeah, Lippincott, was already on her way to the scene, a woman named Wendy McDermott called to inform deputies that the animal was actually a bull and that she was the owner. Hmm. Sound like the bull just went off, you know. Um, Yahoo Lifestyles was unable to reach McDermott, but police say she planned to bring the bull back into its enclosure with food, despite the fact that the animal had been acting combative. Lippincott even saw the bull begin to mount its owner's SUV. What got into that boy, I wonder? But the attack didn't end there. Once McDermott exited the car, uh, attempting to coax the animal through the open gate to her farm, the animal began to physically throw her around. You know, a bull is just like a small SUV. You know, and uh, it's... <laughs> You ain't going to make it do nothing it don't want to do. And that's just all there is to it, you know. But uh, Sparta police report that McDermott began screaming that the animal was going to kill her and needed to be shot. What? Lippincott then distracted the bull while McDermott got into the patrol car. Other units and the Sparta EMS arrived at the scene. And the bull was put down by two officers. They couldn't wait to kill it. And I'm going to tell you that right now. They love shooting things. You know. After it attempted to charge a patrol vehicle. Huh. McDermott was treated by EMS. Before being transported to Newton Memorial Hospital. Where, the ve where she received stitches to her head. Other injuries included lacerations and bruising to her upper body. The bull's owner said that the animal had recently attacked her husband. 
although it wasn't as serious. Well, uh, let me tell you something. Nature and animals, okay? Things is changing at a highly rapidly, rapidly rate here across this entire country, okay? And um, I think we're going to see more of these type of things happening. So, you know, a message to a lot of uh, pale skinned people, you know, y'all might not want to have too many animals around you because uh, there's some things that's going to take place. You know, like, what was it? Instead of you hearing about more like animal attacks last summer, you heard about stuff like hog weed attacks, um, black, I mean, white people getting like hog weed on them. They blistering up and losing limbs and stuff like that. Um, you heard about the sun, you know, doing a lot of like stuff, you know, like burning them up and, and, and real, you know, real bad. I haven't heard a story um, where, what was it, lime juice. I think it was lime juice burned one, one of them, somebody white real bad. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to see this summer, there's going to be a ramp up of animal attacks on um, pale skin people. So, you know. Just one of those things, you know. Uh, so be ready for it. Uh, well, y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.